Gold eased more than half a percent Monday after coming close to a two-year peak last week. The big focus this week is the so-called Brexit referendum, when the UK will decide whether or not to leave the European Union. Polls show Britain could opt to remain in the EU, which is not voting well for gold, since the metal is seen as a safe haven in times of uncertainty. Joining us now is Todd Baba Horwitz. Todd, good to see you back on Kiko News. Danielle, it's great to be here as always. So do you think Britain stays? And if so, what does this mean for gold? I think that I actually think Britain might still go. I think that their polls are always a little bit goofy to begin with. And I think they're more likely to leave, even though the polls are showing me wrong at the moment. Um, I think overall, it really has not a lot to do with gold in the bigger picture. It might for the short term. If we go back to last week and we look, we saw that gold was rallying, the markets were selling off because they were maybe going to go, and now they're maybe going to stay, and everything's reversed. The markets have gone up, and gold has gone down. But gold really has not acted very poorly at all. I mean, if you look at it from a technical standpoint, it ran right to where it should have been, which is about 1320. And it looks to me that 1280 could hold here, and certainly at 1250, I think that it has nothing to do with it, in my opinion. So is that really the best-case scenario for gold right now, Baba, that it stabilizes at the current level uh, just ahead of 1300 here? I think it's great if it stabilizes at 1280, you know, between 1280 and 1300. I think if we stay in this range, it looks to me over the last five days, we're building a fairly good base here. And again, it could go to 1250. As a trader, I'm going to look and hope we get a big dip down to 1250. But if we do indeed hold 1280, I wouldn't have a problem buying it there either. I think for now, the upside looks like to be 1320 to 1330. And then probably it'll hold in there again. We, as an investor or a trader, we don't want to see him go straight up. We want to see him build momentum right. going up, and that's what we're looking for. These big herky-jerky moves are really not good unless you're just inside and trading very quickly. Right. Well, you know what it seems like to me that over the past month, well, August gold futures have tested both the lower and upper end of a large neutral trading range, but it seems neither the bears nor gold bulls have enough strength to confirm a range breakout here, Bubba. You, you are, you, you know, see, that's why you're the best, because you're right on top of it. We've been in a major consolidation range, and the weak hands, you know, the strong hands come in and sell them when they're up at the tops, and they push them down, then new money comes in from the bottom, and you get this consolidation. I think we're going to break out of this consolidation, and I do believe we're going to break out to the upside. The question will be when. But the more we sit here, the longer we have this battle going on, the bigger the breakout's going to be, whichever way it will be. Now, I do, again, believe it will be the upside because I think we'll see some strength in, in uh, some weakness in the dollar, which will push us up a little bit higher. We've already seen that the Federal Reserve is not going to do anything, and, in fact, they're going to be more dovish, which could create some action this week as well because you've got Janet Yellen speaking her Humphrey Hawkins testimony on, in Washington on Tuesday and Wednesday. All right. Well, on that note, what are your thoughts on the rate hike direction, Baba? Where do you think it's going? I think it's no chance. I, I think, as I've always said, I'm, I'm still shocked that I lost the bet that I made that they would raise in December. Could I, based on their weird math and the way their minds work, which is not very good, they are trying to figure out a way to raise rates. At the end of the day, they really don't want to, which is the wrong attitude. This country and the rest of the world needs higher rates to create more liquidity, which will then create some actual movement in the economies. The way that they're going about it continues to bring the economies down in, into very serious jeopardy. And they talk about recession. They're bringing us into a position where we could actually have a depression now because they've done so much damage to the overall world economies with their manipulation of the currencies. All right, Bubba, always great speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you, Danielle. Have a great day. And thanks for watching. We have U.S. Global Investor CEO Frank Holmes up next.